Hello, hey. Dana Hi. Abercrombie, the coalition. Hello, both of you. Excellent Hi, season. Um, excellent season three. I uh, loved every moment. My question from the beginning has to be with you, Claudia. Um, as Victoria, we it was very interesting. Auntie Soup ended up being a soup, also committed a lot of murder. Um, yep. <laughs> one of the things. Three. Oh, wait, you've cut out. What you oh. cut out. Sorry, could you ask that again? I've, going into season three, I was wondering, can you explain kind of more of the mindset of Victoria? Because we don't know if she's working on her own agenda or it's under Vought. I mean, pretty quickly uh, in season three, you see her personal relationships and and how they function and what that entails. So... But then halfway through the season, she has to make some sacrifices and she has to make some some pretty desperate uh, uh, switches that put her in a position of power, but um, but are very much pr- going to cost her later down the road because uh, we're on the boys and nothing good ever <laughs> lasts too long for any character. Um, yeah. <laughs> for you, Chase, um, I really felt for the deep, but also at the same time, he's a complete a-hole. So I was right. wondering, my, the thing is with season three, I was wondering, is there a moment of reflection and genuine change from him? Or is he always going to be who he is? I think he's, it's a good question. I mean, I think he's, you know, essentially always going to be who he is, um, unless I pitch a spin off. No, I'm teasing, but he, like, <laughs> He, I, you know, I think it's it's really tough to redeem someone like him. But in season three, I do think he has been taken down a peg or two, at least at the start of it. And he always sort of, uh, you know, it devolves into this era of like false confidence. Right? Yeah, you know, he's got this confidence thinking, oh, I did. I, I did it again. And like the people, you know, who should get the credit like his wife, you know, he, he takes that and runs with his narcissism. And I think it's tough for him to ever... Um, get away from that, you know, deep, (laughs) that empty void of like, you know, valid, you know, validation that he needs. But uh, I do think like, yeah, one of the overarching storylines, at least for him was sort of the, like the loyalty test from Homelander, because that's his sort of his father figure in a way. And also who he takes his cues from and he doesn't want to be left out in the cold again, basically. So he's willing to do anything. And obviously a few insane things this season, um, and then, you know, no spoilers. Yeah, by the end of it, we definitely see, we sort of see him grappling with with some with some lines crossed or not crossed yet. So, <laughs> yeah. Last question for both of you. What would be the definition of power for both of your characters? Oh, God. Just riding away on sea in the, the ocean. Definition that's, of power. That's, that's when he feels the most. I'm teasing. Um, um, I mean, I think Victoria's the uh, uh, pursuit of power is closely tied to her own sense of um, personal safety and security. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think from right. the deep yeah. core kind of nice. void. Deep. deep. Yeah, yeah. It goes deeper. <laughs> it's deepest. really deep. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think the deep thinks uh, is like the embodiment of power for him like is Homelander, right? And I think he it's like a weird mix of like jealousy and awe and like, you know, want to be best buds, but also like he, he, he does want that. And he sort of is deluded to thinking he sort of is that like, but the number two guy. So he, he, uh, you know, people, he's that he, like, we all have like these narratives. We tell ourselves about who we are. And a lot of times that doesn't match up with reality. He's like the embodiment of that where he's like yeah. so separate of what he thinks he is in his head and what the reality is. So, you know, there, that was a sprawling answer, but <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much for speaking with me. I love your characters. I love the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.